An Australian travel vlogger is in hot water after walking through a woman-only train cart in Japan, and the internet just didn't like it. Yeah, man, this is going viral right now. Let's run the clip. You guys, did you know in Japan, they have women-only carriages? It's like a Saudi Arabia in here. I am the women inspector checking there's only women on this carriage. Yep, yep, yep. There's only women here. Cool, no men. I don't see a single man in sight. Yep, check complete. It really is a women only carriage, guys. Wow. Long story short, I mean, this guy shearing shed vlogs, I don't even want to say his name. I don't want to feel like I'm promoting him, but he's friends with this other guy, Johnny Somali, who's been just wreaking culturally deviant behavior in Japan, but like, I guess, kind of skirting the law by not really fully violating the law to get arrested, arrested. And long story short, Andrew, these guys are going viral in Japan for all the wrong reasons, and people on TikTok hate them. Yeah, well, I guess the big questions are, what will Japan do about them if they really are bothering society? Or maybe they're towing the line, so it's really not that bad. But also, why are people still watching them? David, we're gonna break this all down and we're gonna talk about it, so please hit that like button, check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. Um, but one thing that doesn't tow the line is small sauce our new chili oil, which you can order right now, smalasauce.com. It's made with real truffle and Sichuan peppercorns to give you that tingle from Sichuan to Sicily. Yeah, I mean, you saw in the video, he's basically like, oh, this is one of the last things I would expect to see in a place like Japan, the segregating the women from the men. But obviously, they're not. he's not understanding that, uh, or he probably does understand, but he's just doing it to troll to create more gravity for himself and more viewers, that that cart is to prevent women from getting groped, right? Or being in the presence of men this is a not an uncommon thing it was in rio de janeiro cairo egypt and even germany had it for a while until the men started complaining right yeah so i guess this is a common practice to have women only carts maybe not every country does it but a lot more than just japan do do it um and so i guess for him the real reason why i guess people are mad because i guess what he did he just walked in and out of a train cart but he kind of like was like oh i'm the women expect i'm the woman expect and then a lot of the women did kind of look uncomfortable and that's where everybody got triggered because to be honest even though what he did is not ruining society, he's bothering society for sure. For sure. And he's, and he's filming people. He, he, You can tell his whole tone is off. Yeah. Him and Johnny Somali, they're guys that probably got picked on in Arizona, probably right. got picked on back in Australia, didn't really yeah. mean too much, didn't have too much status in society. And they're feeling dominant because they're in a very docile society, which is Japan. And they're just... They're just towing that line with the yeah. law, right? David, it seems like recently there's been a new string of kind of streamers and vloggers in Japan that are really taking advantage of how polite people are. Yeah. And obviously, Johnny Tsunami, he is actually getting hit and knocked down and people are still retaliating. But I guess my question is... I. Not really a question, but I think it's just really funny that the whole reason why these guys are able to run around Japan and not get bothered and vlog and feel comfortable doing that is because everybody's so polite. Yeah, and people have to understand, Jap Japan is different from Singapore. Singapore is, it, it, in a way, when you're there, it kind of feels a little bit, not doesn't feel like Japan, but there's some similar aspects, but it's because the laws are so strict. Japan doesn't necessarily have 10 out of 10 ultra harsh laws or police. It's more relying on the, the self-governance of the citizens. Right, right, right. So I guess like, I guess what's happening is that the police aren't fully shutting these guys down or kicking them out of the country. Right. But other citizens from Japan or other tourists even are starting to retaliate against them. Yeah, and Japan, Andrew, it's probably one of the best running ancient and modern societies left in the world mm -hmm. to this day, right? Yeah. And people are mad that people from these new world countries, America and uh, Australia, are going there. I mean, they didn't like it when Logan Paul did it. They didn't like it when Tom Green did it in the past either, but are basically just messing around with people knowing that people aren't going to do anything, right? Yeah, and I don't think it helps that these vloggers are white and black. Like these are non-Asians obviously going there, imposing themselves, bothering people, almost towing the line of harassment. And basically they're just running free and they're making money yeah, off sometimes of what? They're just standing in the middle of a crowded crosswalk and making everybody avoid them. Like they're basically being very culturally deviant, right? Right. They're not really trying to be part of Japanese society. So I guess my question is, what is Japan going to do about it? And, 
other people were saying, do they just represent the worst Australians and the worst Americans that are always going, you know, to other societies being like, yep, I conquered the world over the last 300 years. You're speaking my language. I'm not speaking your language. You're going to have to adapt to me. I'm being alpha. I'm a Western person. Yeah. I wonder who watches their streams and like what those people watch for. I, I would say it's a lot of gamers. It's probably a lot of people who don't really have amazing day-to-day -day IRL lives. Mm, but I'm not yeah. going to lie. If I were to put my complete not me hat on, I can see why it's compelling content because they're constantly having run-ins with the police. They're constantly getting in these like very juvenile spats with whether, you know what I mean, other yeah. people. They're basically messing with society yeah there, there's a reason why andrew let's be honest let's not lie here let's not try to mince words people like shows like punked and those prank channels because people like some destruction yeah. of society but right? what's funny is that messing around in america like that you know you're gonna likely meet some more people who are gonna give you some more pressure back than in japan and that's why they like being in japan doing that because it kind of feels like a kid's world or like a playground for them where they're safe. Like the right. police Everybody's going to handle you with yeah, soft velvet the, gloves. Yeah, right? the police aren't super intimidating. They're not going to manhandle you. You're not likely to get shot because other citizens don't have I, guns. I actually don't believe even Japanese police carry guns uh, unless they're like a special division or something like Possibly, that. Possibly, yeah. So I guess uh, we'll get into the top comments, guys, and see what the internet is saying, but that's kind of our quick thoughts. Yeah, guys, make sure you like this video and share this if you uh, like what we're breaking down, guys. We're getting into the deeper conversation. Somebody he said of course they have these carriages to protect them from weirdos like you how are you stupid how dare you invade a safe space for women do you not even know about the sexual uh harassment suffered that oh what are you gonna do next go into like people's toilets and say what oh you want to just check if there's all japanese women in a japanese woman only toilet right, right how right. much do you think people are mad that japan is this great civil society that everybody's got to buy in and then now all these people are trying to get rich globally by defying and messing with Japanese culture. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just messing with Japanese society. And I feel like, uh, obviously, I don't know how many vloggers there are, but if there tens, if there's like a thousand of them, then it's kind of an issue, you know? Like if there's a lot more of these guys. And I think I can see that there's probably a crowd or some type of crew that's forming in Japan of these guys who are down to bother other people and do it for clout. And I'm not even surprised if maybe there's an Asian guy who gets mixed in there before at some point, you know, where it's just like, Dude, that's just not cool, though, man. That's just not how you should make money. I, you're, you're not adding any value. You're stupid. I really think that people, if they don't like this type of behavior or j the Japanese government itself, should mob, probably more take a capitalistic approach to this and try to approach the platforms that they're filming on to shut them down, to take away their attention and their money and their donations, rather than make this a geopolitical thing, right? Because if to, to, to pass laws against like foreign streamers and stuff, that's going to be way... Uh, a much more difficult thing to do. Right, right, right. Um, somebody was saying, yeah, I did this one time in Rio de Janeiro and I didn't even know. Um, and a lot of people were bringing up all the other women-only cart systems that they have across the world. So, uh, yeah, this is like no, a common I mean, but thing. The, yeah, but this guy definitely knew that's the difference. Yeah. I mean, if, listen, if you accidentally walk into a room and you're like, oh, I'm not supposed to be in this room, and then you walk out, it's pretty clear that you didn't know. Yeah, other people were saying, you know, as long as he didn't sit down, it is still a little bit disrespectful because he's filming everybody without their permission. And he's sort of like going in there with this attitude, like I run things, showing a lot of skin. You know what I mean? And uh, actually he had a run in with the police earlier for walking around with his shirt off. Uh... So I'm saying that he's basically violating a lot of stuff. So, I mean, at some point, Somebody's got to kick these guys out of Japan. That's my general thinking. Yeah, I feel like they got. I, I feel like they should ban them for like a year. I'm not saying ban them for life. I mean, obviously, I think banning someone from entering a country does. Take it just creates a, lot. a geopolitical situation. Yeah, it does take it. a lot. Yeah. Um, somebody was saying thank you, Australia, for taking the heat on this one. And someone said, oh, come on, guys. Anybody from America, Australia, they're all going to have that same entitled, dominant attitude overseas anyway. That's true. That's true. Somebody said, no, nah, this does not have anything to do with being Australian or American. It has to do with being from the look at me generation. Look at him. He's so ugly. The only way he can get any attention is by essentially messing with society. Some people said that he was using his autism as an excuse. And other people in the comments were saying, I'm autistic. And this so disgusts me that he tries to use that as a way to, you know what I mean? It looks bad on all of us. Right. He clearly knows what he's doing, man. <laughs> 
Yeah. And then other people were saying, you know, well, it's more Japan's fault for even needing a safe space for women on public transportation to begin with. There's nothing wrong with playing around with it. And then uh, somebody just said, yep, only in today's twisted 2023 world can someone completely insane make a living harassing people in public and recording it. Dude, uh, man, overall, I really hate these streamers. And if you watch them, you're part of the issue. Uh, not that I don't like think you can't stream in public. I think that's fine. But going, putting the camera up in people's faces and clearly knowingly bother society after you've been warned time and time again. Like they've been warned by the police. All these guys have. But I'm not really sure how many infractions they get before something really happens. Yeah, I could really see Japan monitoring to monitoring this right now, but they were gonna wait till it gets like 10X worse before they try to introduce any legislation. Yeah. I think one thing they're actually more concerned about is it, it impacting the international youth within Japan. As you saw, the one guy who was uh, licking the wasabi in the soy sauce bottle oh. in the Kaiten Sushi, which is the um, revolving conveyor belt sushi, I think he got fined $500,000. Even though I think they ended up dropping the lawsuit, they wanted to make sure Japanese youth do not learn from these foreigners. Mm. Maybe... Well, we cannot regulate the behaviors of the foreigners as much as we would like. But if you are Japanese, don't do it. Ah, uh, you think Japanese are pretty lenient on foreigners? I mean, you know, just be like, oh, gaijin. you know, Logan Paul is actually not banned from Japan. Right, you looked into it, right? Even it's though he's throwing the Pokeballs. It's the not clear officer. that he's officially banned from Japan. So even after everything that he did with with that whole thing. I, I heard that uh, a lot of foreign tourists right now, because Japan, if you guys know, and we're gonna get into this in other videos, uh, a larger and larger distribution pie slice of their economy is coming from foreign tourism, foreign capital inflows. They were saying that foreigners are not respecting Mount Fuji enough and keeping it clean enough. And they, they were not prepared for how messy Western people were essentially. Well, guys, uh, I think Japan should do something. I think they should put their foot down and do something. I don't know what they're going to do, but they, they need to do something about this because I think it's going to set an example to the world that Japan, this place that you like so much, that the internet is so interested in, will not stand for these streamers. Yeah. Why would you take a look at all the lo-fi animations of our country, then come here to ruin it? That seems a little counterintuitive. Have you no respect? Hey, man, listen, guys, uh, we've been to Japan. It's a beautiful place. When I was there, I, I felt bad for even having a quiet conversation on the subway. People are supposed to be yeah. very quiet. You're, you're supposed to turn the... Um, yeah, and obviously, listen, we're Asian. Like, we're Chinese. We have some family relatives in Japan. Like, we actually... I wanted to be part of Japan. It's like you go there, and it's such a cool society. You want to be part of it, mm -hmm. and you want to buy into it when you're there. That's how I felt versus these guys. They come here... And they want to like mess with it and judge it. I'm not saying you can't have your opinions. Have your opinions. Say whatever you want. But like, just don't bother people, man. So these people are idiots, man. I hate, I hate this type of content. This is the worst type of content. This is what gives content creators a bad name. Honestly, it's content like this. Yeah, it just feels like a lot of people, and in America, like you said, there's a lot more of these uh, situations where even some pranksters did, I don't know if how true it is or not, got, even got killed from messing around with people and being very deviant and God, poking thanks. bears and stuff like that. But I'm saying that like, it's just people putting their own desires and what they can milk out of the situation above the health or the harmony of the whole society. Exactly. Anyways, guys, you let us know in the comments down below what you think about all this. What should Japan realistically do? Like realistically, you know, uh, due to these guys and how bad is what they're doing? I and, mean, um, yeah, maybe if you guys have any insight to what the internal discussion on the Japanese message boards and things in chat rooms is on these topics, let us know in the comment section below. Keep it civil. Until next time, we're the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.